<laughs> What's up internet, Kern 1776 here with another product test video for you. So, I got a little bit different setup than usual here. So we got some chicken, we got some peppers and onions and some mushrooms and some olive oil and a few little utensils and some seasoning. But I got this thing right here in the mail. From GoSun, it's a portable solar oven. So we are fixing to make some vittles, <laughs> a vittle video, testing out this ghost sun right here. So if you watched on Southern Survival, we actually used a product from ghost sun and solar oven, basically the same thing. This is a different version. This is a smaller, more compact version, more travel ready version, if you will. And the other was as well, but th this is just smaller, I guess is, is the point. I have not used it at all. So we're fixing to take it out of the box, check it out. We're gonna put this chicken mushrooms and peppers and all that in there and cook us up some lunch see how well it works yeehaw see the features of it so let me set this thing up right here we'll get started maybe the cats the cats and the critters and everything won't mess any of this up All right, so hopefully y'all can see this okay. I just set up in front of my garage here and we're just gonna, we're just gonna see how this works. So we got this little thing right here, GoSun portable power for the people, for the people, right? Solar cooking, portable practical, fuel is free, solar oven in multiple sizes. So they make multiple sizes, yada yada. Efficient for off grid, tiny homes. They make all kind of stuff at GoSun, so check them out. We got little uh, refrigerators and things like that. We got a tool and some more paperwork in here. I don't know if we need that right now. A little cleaning tool right there. So here it is, the Go Sun Go. How about that? Really cool. So obviously way smaller than what you saw on Southern Survival. That one was, was pretty long. So we're gonna zip this thing open here. Man, the daggone wind has kicked up course right when I get ready to shoot a video and you can see there's your tube and this is pull to remove there's your mirrors if you will to help direct that sunlight to the tube you get up here we all can see it a little better well that of course the wind's blowing which is awesome Got to make it difficult, right? So on the inside of this, hopefully you can see, there's this little deal right here that you pull up. That will help hold it open. And then we've got the tube here. You put your food in. Boom, now monkey. Cat's trying to jump up here. Guess I might need to look in the direction and see what the heck that right there's for. Oh, look out. Okay. Like I said, I've just opened this thing. It's got on the back here, this piece here, so that you can prop it up better. That also adjusts the pitch. Ha, <laughs> no crap. Check this out. So it's actually got right here is a GoPro type mount, like so you can get a GoPro uh, tripod mount mount this to a tripod and hook it on right there with this piece so if you don't have anything to sit it down on you have a tripod with you ah that's what that's for all so that piece locks in like that so you set it like this all right so i looked at the directions <laughs> so Tilting it up like this, you can fill this tube up with liquid water. If you wanted to heat up water, you could use the sun to heat up water. You can take the cap here, put this cap on like that and heat that water up. So that's pretty cool. For cooking purposes, we're gonna lay it on its side because you don't want the juices from the meat and olive oil that you add or whatever to basically run out and fill up the bottom of that tube. So we're gonna lay it on its side because we're going to use this bad boy to cook food. All right, so now I'm gonna add some more food. 
Clearly, I think I've got a little bit more than I probably should. So, all right, so I'm gonna take some chicken. I already got some seasoning on here. We got chicken in there, get some mushrooms in there. So why would you have something like this? Well, some places there's burn bands and you can't run a fire to cook. And some people just like gadgets like this. I think it's pretty cool. You use the sun to cook your food, but it'd be cool for, you know, at the beach, things like that. You can carry this with you, fix you up something nice. We'll add a little bit of olive oil in here. I'll say a little bit, it might end up being a lot. That'll work. Oh, heck, why not? Put a little bit more season to it. There we go. So I'm gonna take this, so I'm gonna slide that in here. Just like that. So we got our food in there. This is directing the sun rays through the tube here, and that's gonna cook our food. We'll give it 30 minutes or so, and uh, come back and check on it. I'm gonna take the rest of this stuff back inside and get it in the fridge so it's not sitting out here just getting hot because I chopped up a, a whole chicken breast and all that stuff. So anyway, we're gonna let this sit here and go. Hopefully the cats ain't gonna jump up here and mess with it. <laughs> Entirely possible. But uh, yeah, we'll give this a try, see how it goes. And then afterwards, I'm gonna do a little durability test. We'll clean it up and do a durability test because this is a, a type of glass, obviously, right here. So we'll close it up. I'll hold it about chest high. We'll drop it on the concrete. See if it breaks or not. Hopefully it don't. Got to spice up the, uh, the vid that's just cooking food, right? Spice it up a little bit. <laughs> no pun intended. I'll see y'all in a few minutes. All right. So it's been 30 minutes. Let's see uh, see how we're looking over here. I don't know if y'all can see in there or not. There's a little bit of action going on a little bit of steam coming out i don't know if y'all can see that see that let's pull it out just a little bit see what we got going on here oh yeah it's a cooking it's a cooking i'm gonna take one of those pieces of chicken out and check it Take one of these pieces of chicken out here. Mushroom stuck to it. Oh yeah, that's hot. Close that back up. So let's see if this chicken is done. Hot. I think it's done, folks. Let me go grab a plate. I forgot to bring my plate out here. All right, so let's pull this out. bigger piece is done. The mushrooms look good. A little bit of that juice back in there. Toss the rest out. I'm curious if this bigger piece is done. Yeah. It's done. Wow. That's hot. Yeah, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of onion. Chicken, peppers, onions, and mushroom. Oh yeah, that's on time. Freaking works. Works good. Works just like their bigger model did about 30 minutes got yourself a little meal there y'all 
I think it's pretty cool. I mean, obviously you're using radiant heat, you know, from the sun. So no fuel, no fire, no smoke, no nothing. You gotta have sun, obviously. You gotta have a sunny day. You have to be able to, you know, direct it to the sun and not have no shade or anything on it and stuff like that. But the freaking thing works. <laughs> so the question is, you know, is it something that, that, that you would like to have in your kit or have in a vacation bag going to the beach or at the lake or by the pool or something like that, make you a, a quick, you know, snack or whatever. Obviously I just did chicken and some vegetables, but I'm sure you could do bacon. You could do pretty much anything in there, little pieces of steak, fish, things like that. Also, again, by setting it up vertically, you can, you know, heat up water and stuff like that. So it's a pretty cool little concept. And, uh, you know, is the serving size gonna be big enough for you? Eh, I don't know. But, you know, I guess we all need to eat a little bit less, right? So that is the does it work test. Does it actually cook? And it does. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean it up. We're gonna put it back in the box as it came and I'm gonna do a drop test with it in the box to see if this glass right here, you know, is super fragile or not. Um, and then we're gonna take it out of the box and we'll actually drop it in its own case right here. See if it survives that. I don't know. I know the big one that we had, the big ghost sun that we had for the TV show. Um, I'm not gonna say I did it, but it broke. <laughs> so see if, how durable this one is because hey we drop things sometimes right things happen you know so let me clean it up we'll put it back in the box test it in the box the way it comes and then we'll test it out of the box yeah all right so all cleaned up and that's Pretty much what you're dealing with and size as far as carrying it around or whatever so i'm gonna put it back in the box the way it came it's like that this one right here and we're gonna do a drop test i'm just gonna drop it on the concrete right here and we're gonna open it back up. Hopefully it's not broke. <laughs> Cause I would like to use it again one day, you know? Probably be pretty cool to take fishing one day on the river and put some fish in it and see how it does with fish, but. Let's say you're just, you know, you're carrying it. The UPS man's coming to your house and he drops it. He picks it up and drops it again. I blew the box open. See if it broke. Just gonna leave y'all right there. Did it break? It did not break. Let's say the delivery guy's a little taller. Maybe he's this tall. He's walking around and he just drops your box. See if it broke. Does it sound broke? It's still good to go. It's pretty thick glass too. I mean, oh my God, this thing's still hot. The inside of that. Ah! Okay. Just burn myself. So. I don't know if you can tell or not. One reason why this thing works so good, can you see inside that thing? It's got different coatings in that glass, or maybe it's sandwiched in, in the glass that really take the temperature of that rascal up, okay? It gets hot. But will it break if I drop it out of the box like this? Mm. 
I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get another one if this breaks. All right, here we go. You're just walking along and you drop it. It broke. Right on my foot. Ah, crap. I got a mess to clean up now. Oh, it broke. That sucks. Well, now we get to see kind of what it's made of. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's two layers. You got your outer layer here, and then you got this inner layer. That's that's the part that gets hot, super hot. So your outer layer of glass, then you got this inner layer here. That's the one that's hot. Maybe this piece I can hold. Yeah, so, holy crap, that's hot. So, there's your exterior, your interior. That's hot, that's how, that's how that thing works, man. That's how it gets so freaking hot. So, yeah, I, I kinda had a feeling it was gonna break, but, yeah, I didn't want it to. But anyway, that's the go sun go destroyed by me accidentally well not accidentally we test things right that's how we do it so if you're not carrying it around in this box then you got to be careful with it you know don't drop it um don't sit anything heavy on it stuff like that because it, it could it could shatter it and break it like mine did so keep that in mind the product works and it's really cool no fuel Use the power of the sun, cook food, heat up water, yada, yada, yada. Really cool concept, I dig it. Just don't drop it on concrete or anything hard for that matter, cause it'll break. But I wanna know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the Go Sun Go. Check out their other products, see what they, they make all kind of different stuff. They got you know bigger solar ovens and they got the small one like this and lots of things in between so check them out as always i appreciate you guys watching again be sure to like comment down below share with your friends if you're watching on youtube hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and i'll see you on the next product test video i'm fixing to go inside and email go son and say hey man can, can y'all send me another one i had an accident <laughs> love y'all mean it i gotta get something clean up some uh, Critters, my critters don't get glass in their feet. Uh -oh.